Hey guys, what's going on? Jimmy here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about Goodlock 2019, but more specifically how I have mine set up. So in today's video, I'll show you which applications of these I have downloaded, what are some of the customizations, and pretty much everything else that will answer all the questions from the previous videos. You know, people asking questions about my, my navigation bar on the very bottom, how my uh, recent applications menu is just a little bit different, and just a few little tips and tricks and tweaks that I've set mine up through Goodlock 2019. So first off, if you're brand new to Goodlock 2019, you only are able to download this in the United States. If you're outside of the United States, you would have to download a VPN to confuse your device to know exactly where it's at. So this way you can download the application. And where you download the application is once you go inside of your application menu, this little application tray, on the very top right hand side, you'll, you'll see those three little dots and you'll go inside of Galaxy Essentials. And inside of Galaxy Essentials, you'll go to the search button and type in good luck 2019 now mine is already pre-populated just because i've already downloaded this application and once you have this thing installed you get it opened up it'll take you to the screen now, GoodLock is simply a application that holds many other applications that is made by Samsung for Samsung to pretty much add a little bit more customization or kind of help your phone out just a little bit more. So today, I'm gonna not go over every single application. I'm just gonna show you how mine is set up if you want yours to look pretty much the exact same way. The first application up that I have downloaded is going to be Quick Star. So this is a way that you're able to customize your Quick Panel, which is gonna be on the very top when you pull this down right there. Now, first off, you are able to go through and change the different color schemes. So if you wanna have like a blue and kind of like a gray or a red background with yellow or orange right there, um, you can really kind of go through and make your pull down really any color you want it to and also have all the different icons also be different colors. But my phone is right now underneath the dark mode or night mode. And so I kind of like the way that this is showing right here. But you are able to change those colors if you want to just by going through these panels. So again, we're only going through how my phone is set up. So I pretty much skipped on that process there. I went underneath the visibility of the indicators on the very top. So my phone is a AT&T device, but I don't really need to see those icons on the very top or the word of AT&T. So I turned it off and it was with this option here called lock screen. Now you can go through all the rest of these. You can change a few if you want to see some. Um, obviously you might want to keep this one on. It lets you know uh, your bars. So if you have this one turned off, you don't really know your cell phone connectivity. So you might as well keep that one on. I've actually kept all of these on. Also, alarm is very important. Most people use their phone as their alarm and they don't have the old time clocks that you can hit the snooze button really hard. Um, so I always have my alarm turned on. So if you go through here, I did turn off NFC, Bluetooth, the data saver and power saver. So anytime that I have power save on or anything else, I don't really need to see that icon. I already know it's turned on. Same thing with Bluetooth. When I pull it down right away, you can see Bluetooth icon there is activated. So I know that it is turned on. And so I don't really need to see those indicators. Now, if you do want to see those indicators, you're just going to either fill up or take away what you see on the very top. So that is what I've set up um, through the quick panel for the visibility of the indicator icons. You can also change your clock position and you can see mine is on the very left. You can also hide it or you can put it on the right hand side, which will go right over here next to your little infinity O display. But I like to keep mine on the very left hand side. And so let's go on back and then you'd be able to go right over here for this notification pop-up button. So what'll happen is that when you get a notification, if you pull it over slow and just halfway, it'll actually show a little menu button on the very left hand side. And it's a way that you're able to do the pop-up window function. So if you wanna open up that maybe notification through a pop-up menu, slide it over halfway, click on that little icon that it's showing you on the very left hand side and it'll open it up on a pop-up view which is going to be just a little screen that is on top of your screen so this was how i set mine up with that quick panel star now let's go back down to the very next option here which is the task changer so this is one of the first things that i downloaded when i got good luck 2018 is because i was not really a big fan of the stock task changer or recent um, application menu and so when you go through here, you can have multiple options. Now, when you actually choose if you want it to be stack or a list or a grid, the best thing to do is hit on that recent application menu and see what it looks like. Is this something that you would like to use? If not, go right on back, switch it over. Mine is set up on list. 
So you can see that this is how this one is set up. Now, one of the nice things that you are able to do with this one is that for some reason, if you don't want other people to see the content of your small little windows, if you tap on the icon, you can also hide the content. So this way, anytime that this one is shown in my little recent application menu, it's going to be hidden that way so people don't have to read or see that small little window. Now you can also go through here, go through grid, carousel, and slim list, things like that. But again, I'm showing you how mine is set up and I have mine set up as list. And I also have the blur effect on. So when you hit on my recent uh, menu, you can see how this right there is completely blurred out. You can't even read it. Now, if you have this one turned off, you're able to read the background pretty well. But I think that this adds depth to this menu here. So I always have that uh, blur background effect turned on. One more trick I do want to mention with GoodLock 2018 is that the multi-window functions is much easier to use on this rather than the stock multi-menu. So let's say that we go inside of this little menu here. So this one is the recent apps. If you go on those like nine little squares on the very bottom left hand side, let's say that we go inside of an application, let's say just the gallery. But then maybe I want to go on another application, maybe Google Maps for some reason. Well, when you click on that recent apps one more time, since you already have an application opened, um, you can go through here and then you can be able to open up that application either on the top or the bottom. You simply just press and hold, drag and drop it, and then now you're able to go through and use your Google Maps. And then when you hit on your little home button, you hit on the X, that's how you're able to get out of multi-window fully with GoodLock 2019. So now we've gone through the very first two. Let's keep on going down. Here is the nav star. So this is where you're able to change your navigation bar, which is on the very bottom. Now you can also rotate it. You can rotate the button on navigation bar when your phone goes from different orientations and things like that. So this one was something that was pretty new to the last update that just happened. Um, but when you go through here, you can see that this is the one that I created. Now, if you like to create a brand new configuration, just go to new configuration. This is where you can choose the background colors. You can see it changing right there. So let's say that we wanna go with this color. Uh, then you go over to the button layout. You can have it right aligned, left aligned. You know, you can add buttons. And so mine is the, the add button option. So let's say that we go back right over here. Uh, you can see the left aligned, right aligned. So this is where it's showing you what it looks like. And so when you add the buttons in, you can see I added in the next media and I also turned on the screenshot. And so let's say that we go through here, let's do media next uh, and then screen capture. And then if you wanted to, you can actually press and hold and you can change where you want these to go. So if you want them to be in different positions, you are able to actually change them. The only ones that you are able to really change and move is going to be the two that you added in. So this is how I have mine set up. It's a fast way to take a screenshot fast way to go to the next media if you're watching YouTube or listening to music or anything like that. Uh, and you can also go to your icons. So I didn't really change any of these. Um, I kept my transparency all the way up over here uh, as well as the adaptive icon color. So I left these the way they were and all I really did was I added in these buttons here and you are able to go back and edit those if you would like. Then once you're done, you just hit on uh, done. But because this one was already saved, now I'm, you're pretty much set up the same way I am. Now, if you would like to change and, and alter what you've created here, uh, if you scroll down to what was already made and you press and hold, you can go through and edit. So once you've made this, if you notice that maybe you just wanna change the color just a little bit, um, now you can hit on save and now this is going to be your new little uh, navigation bar in the very bottom. So that was how I set mine up. Uh, now, if we head over to the next one, this is nice shot. This is one that is brand new. Uh, to GoodLock 2019. It's a way that when you take a screenshot, it'll add a couple more options of what you're able to do. Uh, one of those is actually adding a tag to that screenshot. So it's a fast way um, to find those pictures and also a option for screen recording. Now inside of screen recording, you can go through the system sounds and you can either go through the system sounds and the mic. Mine is set up through the system sounds itself because I don't need to hear my own voice um, or you can mute the sound. So this one is set up as system sounds and the video quality I put as high and not medium or low. 
Uh, this is really a cool way that if you wanted to share your gameplay or really whatever you're doing, uh, it's, it's a cool way to do this. You can also show off um, if you're trying to show to go through the, the menu or the settings of your phone. Um, so if you needed to show your mother or grandma how to do something, you are able to do it that way as well. You can also add to the home screen. So you can add this as a shortcut to the home screen, uh, which I did not do that because really once you take a screenshot, that's really all you need to do. And on the top for the save format, I have mine as the JPEG. Uh, so that's how that one is set up. I have these two turned on for the exclude of the system UI, which is the uh, indicator on the top as well as the navigation bar on the bottom. And then you can uh, delete the file after you share via, which means if you've automatically you know, shared that video or picture um, the moment you got done and you hit share via, then you've already shared it, you've done what you needed to do, um, and then now it's going to be off of your phone. So really how that kind of looks is if you, let's say, take a screenshot, and then you go right there, you can hit on record. So now this is recording, um, I can hit that stop at any point in time. Uh, that stop is not going to show up anywhere. So if I hit on the back button, and then let's say we go into the notification star, um, this is where you're able to have that little hidden menu of a notification menu, which we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's go through, let's stop this. Um, now that it's stopped, um, now you're actually able to go back into your gallery and you can also change and watch your little video. So let's go back into that Noti star. Uh, this is a way that you're able to have notifications panel on your lock screen, and you can also have it uh, set up as an icon on your home screen. Well, on the top right hand side, you have your settings. So how mine are set up is I do have this one turned on. Uh, you can see it is toggled on. I went through my application list. With this one, I turned off the Amazon Music. I turned off the calendar and calculator. I also turned off clock. Um, I don't need to know all the different notifications that those are doing. I also turned off the Galaxy Store, which it's also important to do probably the Play Store, um, just because anytime an application states it needs to be updated or every time an application does update, then you don't need to get really get those notifications on this little menu. Uh, and also turn off the messages and messenger. So I have a lot of these still turned on, but really what this one is, is it's more of a news feed. It's kind of letting you know what notifications you had and you can still interact with those notifications. The only thing is that when you actually go inside of that application, um, it will not take you to that exact spot where something was liked or commented. It'll just take you into that little uh, uh, application. So how you can access it with your lock screen is that where your little uh, fingerprint reader is, if you go right above it, so if you press and hold there and you swipe up, it'll take you into that little um, secret notification panel. And this was something that was there. It was a video screenshot recorded. Uh, and so when you're not looking at those notifications, you can swipe them off or you can clear all. Now let's go back inside of the settings and really how is mine set up with that one. So good luck. I showed you the application list. Um, I did not use any filter list. I'm using the lock screen. So I, if you turn this one on, you'll be able to access that secret menu through the lock screen. Um, and then my notification storage period, I have it as seven days, um, but you can have it as 30 or no limit. So if you wanna have a whole feed of every notification you've ever received um, for really any limit, you can put it there but I have mine set up for seven days. Anything more than that, I've kind of find to be overkill. The only thing I wish Samsung did with this Noti Star, the notification you know, application inside of GoodLock, is that when you click on that little notification, it'll take you exactly where you were hitting that notification for, meaning if somebody commented on your photo, it should take you directly to that comment. Um, but I don't really see, you know, if they're able to do that. This is more or less just a, uh, a feed of everything that you have gotten. So it's a little different than going through your notification panel on the top, because up here, when you click on it, it'll take you directly to that um, notification. So that was how I set up my little Noti star. That's how I set up the nice shot. Let's say we go inside of the gallery, we go to screenshots. Um, this one was the screenshot that was taken when I originally took the screenshot. And then this is where you have that video uh, screen, you know, record. So if I go back through and I hit on play video, it's not going to record or play back my little audio um, from my voice because it was not there. But this was where I was explaining a few things and then I went into the screen, um, even though it's a little bit bright, I'll have to turn it down a little bit. 
but now you're able to watch the video and I believe at some point I actually swiped this off. So it's a cool way that you're able to show how to go through settings and changes and things like that. And, and if you're playing a game and you wanna record your video playback, you're able to do that and you can also add it onto YouTube and, and Facebook and everywhere else. Now we've gone through all of the main settings here of the quick star, the task changer, uh, the, the uh, navigation star, the nice shot, um, the notification star as well. Let's turn this back up. Now let's go to the very last one, which is inside of the family of good luck. And this one was called edge lighting plus. So this will offer you just a little bit more options of your edge lighting. So you can go through the effect and you can see that I, this is where you can add on the eclipse effect that goes around your camera sensor on the very front. Uh, you can have celebrate, which is gonna look you know pretty cool with the little celebration lights. Uh, you have loop. Um, and so some of these are gonna be quite a bit different than what you originally get. Originally, you will get basic. You also have wave, uh, you have bubble, you also have multicolor, you had glow, and then you also had glitter. Now you see how these icons over here are just a little bit smaller and they look just a little bit different. These are all the brand new edge lightings you get with that edge lighting plus. And the main one a lot of people were looking for was Eclipse. So this way you don't have to go through through a third party application um, to get this one all set up. You can change your colors. Uh, you can also change the duration, you know, things like that. So this one was the edge lighting plus. And one of the things I do like is that when you download edge lighting plus, and let's say that you go inside of here and let's see if we can try to find edge lighting through the normal settings. So when you press and hold on edge lighting and you go to that um, edge lighting style, you can see that all of the effects that we showed from before is all sitting right here. So when you have a third party application, uh, those will not show up through the normal settings of the phone itself through the system but this application actually does, which is one of the things I love about GoodLock 2019 is that it's all really integrated and it's made by Samsung for Samsung. So if at any point in time you see a application pop out, it becomes something very popular. Uh, you might as well just wait. Don't download a third party application. Um, it's just gonna take more of your battery and, and it might make your phone clunky and it's not really made as well as what Samsung is able to do. So just wait, more than likely it will be added to GoodLock, uh, which is really where a lot of these kind of came from. So this nice shot kind of came from the option of, you know, AZ screen recorder. It's an application I used a long time ago and even recently to record anything I'm doing on my screen. The Noti Star, it's a, there was an application you're able to download from before that it's a different like feed of all the notifications that you've gotten. Um, same thing with the clock face, how there was third party applications. I was able to do that in the past. Um, and then lately there was one that was called like, you know, uh, there's like edge lighting plus or edge screen lighting or screen edge lighting or something like that on the play store uh, that's where this one came from where they added in the option for the pill shape camera cutout so really if you see a third party application just wait this one will definitely come again if you're from another country you're not able to download good luck 2019 uh, download a vpn this is a way that you're able to confuse your phone doesn't know where you are you're able to download good luck really this was all the settings that i've turned on um, all the customizations that I've done. Um, and really a cool little trick is making sure that when you go through here, click on the icon of the application. This is where you can get application um, information. You can also go inside of multi-window, super easy. Um, you can pop it up in a pop-up view if you wanna go through some of those. Um, and then you can also hide the content. You can lock the application. You can pin the app so you can't get out of it. So really, um, good luck 2019, especially when it comes down to the recent apps uh, menu right here. It adds so many more options. It's a little bit easier to use than the stock recent app menu. But I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.